Hi. Okay, so here's an advanced lesson. And I will explain. What do I have here? Many flat cables. Props. Board. Some other adapter connectors. This is, uh, I will explain in a minute. Power supply and another something wire. Okay, so let's talk and see what do I have. So why this is an advanced one? Because if you have an LCD and you're not sure what is the problem with it, so you have to apply the correct signal in order to wake it up. And this is not trivial. And I saw to myself to do such a thing on my own. And then when I was thinking about it, I searched on the net and I found this amazing kit. So what is this one? This is the fluorescent tube inside uh, the board inside the LCD that light up this is the backlight LCD and this is high voltage usually it's about uh, it can be uh, 1000 volts or, or, or 200 uh, volts or something like this depends this is why it is coated with uh, plastic so we will not touch the high voltage uh, inside okay so <coughs> let's see how did they do the kit so we have many flex uh, wires by the way these are the differential signals for the LCD each LCD has its own a resolution, controller, voltage and other parameters and they did a nice work because they prepared all the connection to the different LCD types. Eventually what you need to do is just to see that the plug fit to your LCD and you have the same wires on the same places more or less and this is how it works so if you will see there there are a bunch of other type of LCD with different number of differential signals for example this one has one two one two three four five differential signals and here we have many more so you need to be in the proper LCD type to make it work so let's see how did they do the main board of course this is the main board that has to create all the differential signal in order to make it work <coughs> So let's see. Okay, so what do they write here? Okay, they did a nice work. In each type you can see the LCD resolution, which for example here the list resolution is 640 by 480. <clears throat> and the maximum resolution is 2048 by 1536, which is 4K. They did also 4K. Amazing. Okay, <clears throat> so how do I know how to work? Okay, basically it's pretty easy to understand. They, they did a nice work, I have to admit. 
you have here the power I will zoom a little I will be able to see the board so we have of course the power there is an LCD Chinese I don't understand but you go there is S1 and S2 and here is the number of the LCD type that is going between number 1 and number 60 so we have 60 type of LCD of course each one will have to use a different cable uh, adapter okay so need to power up by the way there is a debug port nice I don't know what I can do with the debug but probably I can change the type of the picture that I am sending to the LCD of course <clears throat> maybe I can do it also uh, with the push buttons here so probably this is the LCD type and probably this is the pattern type and auto uh, probably it is going between all the different patterns I didn't read anything just uh, it makes sense I uh, hope you agree with me and other things to know okay so <clears throat> the most important thing by the way when connecting it is to know which voltage uh, the voltage selection because if you are in the wrong voltage selection in the best case the LCD will not work but in the worst you will burn the digital circuit that get the differential signals okay by the way you can see there is a buzzer a Chinese uh, instructions don't really help me but no other manual inside so probably I will have to download something I'm pretty curious to use it because I have already an LCD that doesn't work and I'm trying to understand if this is the LCD problem or the controller problem and even though I can see signal in scope it doesn't mean that the signal are ok so what you have to do is to connect something like this in order to be sure where the problem is ok so they did supply also power adapter uh, universal uh, between 100 and 240 50 or 60 hertz 12 volts 3 amps so, ok so pretty curious to use this toy uh, but to use it and be able hopefully to see a picture and understand that my LCD that I suspect that is broken maybe is not broken and it is something else because the LCD of course is the highest price on the system and other thing I can manage probably hopefully probably and hopefully okay so now I'm connecting the power for this board and let's connect power and see what is happening so this one is 12 volts input okay something is going on so it is on 56 56 is one of the highest resolution as you can see I can go to numbers that does not exist one two okay so trying to understand because here I have on S1 10 mode and here I have ah now I understand it's <laughs> pretty dumb okay so <clears throat> by the way the also write another useful thing I see now 
the writing is S6 is 6 bit, S8 is 8 bit, D6 6 bit and D8 8 bit, which is the number of bits that are going to LCD. Okay, so I will have of course to read the manual trying to understand. Okay, so this is not doing anything, so almost sure this is the pattern type. Power. Ah, okay, so this is the power to the LCD. This is not the power to the board. So after connecting, just when pressing power, it will apply power to the LCD. Trying to figure out other things. No, it's all digital, no analog connection. Because I'm pretty curious, I don't see how to change the voltage. The voltage side of the LCD. Okay, AU. What is AU? Okay, I will have to use the manual. Just trying to press and see if I can find anything useful about probably the setup or something. <coughs> The debug port is quite. I'm curious what is the debug port because I can connect an a VGA. Let's connect a VGA. I will try to see if I have a cable to see what does it give me, if anything. Let's try it. There is nothing to lose. to the VGA. Let's VGA it. VGA it. And see what the VGA is all about. Let's see if I have... Ah, this is a little problematic because I don't have an LCD with VGA. This is a little tricky, but I do have an adapter from VGA to HDMI somewhere, but probably I will not find it now. I guess it will take... Ah, I did find it. No, this is just an HDMI to HDMI. Ah, this is mini HDMI. HDMI doing nothing. I need an VG. I can never be sure that maybe it is not working or they are bluffing us or it is not getting any data out. Of course, I have a scope and I can check all these things, but uh, let's give a credit. Till I see something, so I will now try to connect an LCD and see what is going on. That's all for now. Thank you and bye. Okay, so here is my setup. This is the LCD. I've connected it. Found a data sheet on the net. This is an LG uh, 5 volts with a resolution of uh, written up. Uh, 1920 by 2000 and uh, by 1080 this is connected the debug port is not working for me I could change the voltage 
to 5 volt by pressing this one for uh, 5 seconds I have chosen the display mode that is written here all the uh, 53 and up starting in uh, 52 sorry let's change to 52 this is basically just changing the frequency and the auto button is changing the pattern so I confirm that the LCD is defective I will try to show okay this is the LCD picture now pressing the auto which is changing the patterns but all of the patterns are not let's say blue green red and all the bars which confirm that this uh, this LCD controller is broken somewhere now what I will do I will connect to another LCD that is not working the uh, input RGB and confirm that this device is working properly and that's all so let's try to connect to the Samsung to confirm that uh, I'm sure that if the LCD is okay and there is something with the input circuit and not with the LCD itself so let's try to do it okay so I was right and now connecting to this panel and we can see the pure colors when I'm choosing a different type everything is connected and working okay so the problem was the panel with the other panel and just connected it like this with the correct cable according to the data sheet 5 volt this one is 1680 by 1050 so I have chosen the correct number here 55 and it's working that's all okay so thank you and bye